QuantumScape developed an anode -less design which delivers high density while lowering the material cost and simplifying manufacturing. Their innovative cell technology can store energy more efficiently and reliably compared to today's lithium-ion batteries. Legacy lithium-ion batteries are approaching their limits with possible energy density just as demand for higher performance energy uh, storage surges. QuantumScape's groundbreaking technology is designed to overcome a couple of major shortfalls that legacy batteries have, bringing us into a new era of energy storage with two major innovations. The first is an anode-less architecture that forms their lithium metal anode uh, during charging and a proprietary solid uh, ceramic a separator that enables this unique design. Together, these two types of innovation can help improve energy density, improve charging speeds, and uh, uh, apply a better safety profile beyond what conventional lithium ion uh, uh, technology can do and achieve. Um, the QSC5 is QuantumScape's first planned commercial product. It's a five amp hour cell designed to meet the requirements mainly for automotive applications. It is designed to offer a great combination of energy density, fast charging and high power with an improved safety profile, uh, which is a, a, a step change compared to conventional lithium ion batteries. QuantumScape is working together with their partners in the automotive industry to bring this uh, technology into real-world applications as soon as possible. So the QS E5 is currently on its B uh, uh, sample prototype and it has some pretty impressive energy density metrics. Currently, it shows a volumetric energy density of 844 watt hours per liter, uh, which uh, translates to a gravimetric energy density of 301 watt hours per kilogram. Now, although these don't sound absolutely jaw-dropping um, initially, comparing them to current commercial EV batteries does demonstrate their advantages. So mainly current EV batteries have a energy density ranging between 200 to 400 watt hours per liter at the pack level, with the most advanced uh, designs pushing towards 400 watt hours per liter. So with their first battery prototype coming from their research uh, uh, lab and coming from their prototype facilities, starting at 300 watt hours per kilogram, I'm sure they have a lot of leeway uh, to, to increase this into the future uh, and start to push past 400 watt hours per liter. Uh, conventional lithium ion batteries uh, have to make a choice between offering faster charging or higher energy density. QuantumScape's energy uh, technology is designed to give uh, uh, users both at the same time. So with this first product, it's gonna make experiencing driving with an electric vehicle much more convenient uh, and more enjoyable. What makes these energy density figures even more impressive is that they are measured under real world applications. So we're talking about room temperature at 25 degrees C, not at elevated higher temperatures. We're talking about a practical discharge level. Uh, so they've published it at a C uh, over five, which is equivalent to driving around 350 miles uh, 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 on a range vehicle at highway speeds. Um, this is fully packed cell, so not just an active stack. And we're talking about 100% state of charge. So we are accounting for any additional cell expansion that may occur. So this does mean that the advantages should translate pretty nicely to real world benefits in electric vehicles. Uh, QuantumScape's technology is designed to pair with a variety of cathode chemistries. So what they are truly focusing on is their proprietary uh, uh, ceramic separator that they can then use with different types of battery chemistries. This can include nickel manganese cobalt, lithium iron phosphate, uh, and the potential to significantly improve those uh, energy densities can purchase standard lithium ion cells. Um, this capacity does enable for better optimization in a diverse energy storage applications and gives their platform the flexibility to benefit from future uh, chemistries and advancements to in, in, uh, potentially give us lower costs in the future. So QuantumScape has been steadily advancing their manufacturing capabilities. Again, we can talk 
all day about specifications on paper, but if it can never leave the manufacturing plant and actually get into real world applications, then it doesn't mean anything. So with QuantumScape, they are pre-initial uh, kind of prototyping manufacturing line, uh, wasn't a, at all designed around mass manufacturing. So there are some processes that could have been automated with continuous flow. There's, there's clear uh, bottlenecks that was gonna prevent uh, that battery from leaving the uh, research floor and getting into mass manufacturing. So the first step change in QuantumScape's manufacturing process is their Raptor which is what they are currently utilizing right now. So their Raptor production process has been deployed in 2024 to allow for a couple of key items. First, it allows for faster separator uh, heat treatment process. So based off of what's been reported by QuantumScape, it does seem like their separator uh, and them uh, coming up with that ceramic separator was the key bottleneck in their process. So uh, with the Raptor process, they're now enabled to essentially heat treat those separators much more quickly. Uh, this enables them to now essentially achieve low volume samples of their B sample product. This again is a near close to uh, finalized product, but not yet quite uh, uh, the, uh, the exact product that's gonna release in a commercial vehicle. Um, and then lastly, it gives them the learning platform for their now mass manufacturing uh, line, which they call Cobra. So QuantusScape actually gave an announcement on their Cobra line last year in December in 2024. So Cobra represents QuantumScape's mass manufacturing capabilities. It is focused on scaling up manufacturing process while maintaining that high quality throughput uh, for their ceramic separator. So this is gonna enable higher volume QSE5 production. It's gonna enable the Cobra equipment, uh, which has been developed. Um, the Cobra equipment has been de uh, developed, delivered and installed in their manufacturing plant at QuantumScape. Uh, so now they can actually start to uh, fine tune that equipment and then slowly start to get to their second uh, phase of their B samples, uh, product uh, manufacturing, and then finally getting to their C sample final production intent uh, batteries. Uh, their target is for their Cobra equipment, which was again installed last year in December, to enter into production this year. Um, and that again is gonna give them their best path forward towards gigawatt hour production. Uh, so as I mentioned, QuantumScape has already shipped their B samples of their new batteries uh, uh, to automakers uh, for testing and plans to send more this year. B samples are near production battery prototypes for uh, their most advanced testing, such as performance validation, safety assemble assessments, and integration into their final electric vehicles. Uh, C samples are their final production ready intent batteries expected to come off the Cobra line once it has been validated for their manufacturing uh, in their manufacturing process. So QuantumScape represents a potential step change in the battery technology world and can really help accelerate the global transition to electric vehicles. We all understand right now China is absolutely dominating in this space. So having a step change in technology, I think is gonna be key in order to allow other manufacturers to start to stop the, the, the tide that is uh, these really, really great Chinese vehicles. So with QuantumScape's battery, it gives us the combination of high energy density, faster charging, longer cycle life, and enhanced uh, safety, and it addresses some of those key limitations that have held back broader EV adoption. So while there's still a number of challenges that QuantumScape can face while scaling into production, and proving long-term durability of their battery technology in real-world applications, the progress that they've demonstrated with their B sample cells suggests that they're on a pretty good path towards commercialization in the future. Goals that I would watch for in 2025 include new OEM agreements with new signed licensing deals, um, continued shipment of the QSC5 for OEM testing, additionally, OEM validation that proves QSC5's B samples are on the right phase would be really key. Um, shipping higher volumes of their QSE5, uh, QSE5 for ramped up uh, 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 from their Raptor process, and then bringing Cobra into that baseline production uh, process for their separator. Um, if successful, I believe QuantumScape's technology could enable you know, electric vehicles with longer ranges with the same size packages, faster charging that 
rivals uh, the convenience of refueling with a, a typical gasoline powered car, potentially lower costs for their manufacturing as it scales due to not needing to require to get you know an anode type material or an anode type material to manufacture as well. Uh, safer EVs due to the reduced fire risks and an accelerated adoption for electric uh, uh, transportation globally. Now, of course, I understand the initial type of vehicles are going to have solid state batteries are, of course, going to be more of those high end vehicles, low production type intense. But seeing that ramp up into 2028 uh, all the way up into 2030 will be really, really interesting. So the race to build batteries is intensely competitive with a number of different approaches being uh, pursued for startups with established companies alike. Um, QuantumScape's technology uh, represents one of the most promising paths forward, I believe, and in the next few years uh, will be crucial as they move from a successful startup uh, uh, and a successful sample to commercial mass manufacturing uh, production. Thanks for watching our deep dive on the QuantumScape QSC5 battery. Definitely provide more of these updates over time.